What's up guys, welcome back to Flipping the Script Fishing. Despite my wife and I's busy schedules, we got a chance to get out on the water together. Now I really wanted her to have some success, so I decided to go below the dam where there's some current. When the water is cold, that seems to be one of the most consistent bites there is. So I tied her on a little swim bait and I threw a net rig just to figure out what is the best way to get a bite. Yeah. Like different running current. So you have current pushing and you have this current kind of slack from this way, right? So the two different speeds makes a seam. And that's where the fish will sit. We're not gonna sit right in that in that uh, real hard current. They'll sit on the seam because they want to be the one, the first one to pick up uh, a minnow that's coming by. So they're going to sit in a good spot to pick up stuff that's going to be washed by without wasting too much energy, just sitting right in the current all the time. Okay? Right, so now out here, out here you can really get it right, almost right on the bottom. Yeah, so you don't have to worry that much about hanging up. rod would have been just fine with a jerk bait. For a Ned rig, you need sensitivity, and this rod just didn't have it. But when the fish eat the lure and run off with it, it's not difficult to feel the bite. Out of the boat. Ned Rig will do that. The great thing about Ned Rig is it's a do nothing bait. Even though you can throw it out and work just like a shaky head, you can also throw it out there and just literally let it sit there. And eventually a fish will come by and get it. Here I was wanting to switch a couple lures out with a couple different rods. And I literally cast out there and let it drag behind the boat. Periodically, I would check my rod tip for any movement as I change my lures and my other rods. Dude. 
I noticed Ray was engaging her reel a little bit too quickly, not allowing her lure to sink all the way to the bottom before retrieving. When the water is really cold, that's key. Let the bait sink all the way to the bottom and reel it as slowly as you can, picking the bottom. As soon as she did that, she got a first bite. on the board. She's got her skunk out of the boat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I want a picture of it. A picture? Yeah, a picture. Honey. Just wait. I can take a still frame. I know, but I was next to it. <laughs> <laughs> next one, you gotta hold it. Catch here, honey. <laughs> Big old drum. Got the game C in the picture. Holding down. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Bye bye. Oh. This one is like that's the most beautiful bass ever. What? Welcome to I was like, the I ain't no bass. Drum. 
22 inches long, 15 inch girth. Look at that. Look at that fish. That's a spotted bass, guys. Look at that. Heck yeah. That's the second biggest spotted bass I've ever caught. Maybe biggest, I don't know. Check out the size of that thing. Gosh. Look at that belly. Mm, man. Oh, heck yeah let me show you what he what he hit i don't know <clears throat> something hit it and i and i jerked and then something hit it again and i jerked again and that's that's when i hooked him big old i think it's a zoom uh speed swimmer or something like that on a three quarter ounce head might be a half ounce head but anyway all right good deal fortunately i had to drop off my wife she had to take care of some things so I hit a couple spots on the way back up to the dam. Tech, sexy shad, one ounce head. Once I made it back up to the dam, I only had a little while to fish before I ran out of daylight. So I decided to throw a little bit larger lure in hopes for a bigger bite.
biggest walleyes. Caught many walleyes. Caught that big spot on. Good work. As night began to fall, a different bite started taking place. And this time of year is when the big girls come out and play. But to catch them, it's a whole different type of fishing. So I decided to save that for next time. So enjoy this sneak peek at that fishing action. And until next time, tight line. See me? Well, that's a wrap.